So if it's decided that the baby that you're taking care of needs to be supplemented, the first thing that I suggest is grabbing a buddy <laughs> because the process can take a little bit between thawing the donor milk, printing the labels, getting everything prepared before you can administer at the bedside. It's gonna take a good 25 minutes to even get the bottle thawed. And then you need to you know, have all your labels ready and then warm it. So plan on about 45 minutes to start time until you have it ready. Having a buddy can certainly make that a little bit easier in case you get called away, you need to be in another room for any um, bit of time. When you're thinking of who your buddy can be to help you with the process, think of your resource nurse or your nursery nurse, if we have somebody that's on that day. That will be part of their duties to be a helper with getting the milk ready. The provider needs to get consent um, from the patient and then have that consent signed and put into the baby's chart. Once that happens, you can start the process of thawing the bottle of donor milk. When you first log into Cerner, you're going to want to go to your Bridge program. When you open up Bridge, the first place that you want to go is to Milk Management. Then you want to go to Browse Bottle History to see all the available bottles of donor milk. Once you've removed your milk from the freezer, you're going to find that bottle number. And the log sheet in the log book. You're going to want to edit the status of the bottle. So say it's the first one on the list, 00797. Because it's currently frozen, you can't prepare it until you thaw it. So by clicking on edit, then you can change the status of it or the storage state right over here to thawed. Once you've changed the state to thawed, then you're gonna print a new label. Once you print that new label, you put it over the previous label that was applied. It will show a new expiration date and time that is 48 hours. When your milk is thawed, your pasteurized donor milk, it's good for 48 hours after thawing. After you've pulled your bottle of donor milk from the freezer and you're getting ready to thaw it for preparing um, with a buddy, with another nurse, you need to find your log sheet, confirm the serial number matches with the serial number on your bottle, place a sticker from the baby's chart, confirm that the bottle is labeled, serial number, lot number is confirmed, and then the two nurses that identified this. You also want to make sure that you label the date and time that it was removed from the, the freezer and thawed, and then the expiration date and time. Even though it's printed on the new bottle, you want to make sure that you write it in on the log sheet. When you are thawing the bottle, you're going to take a new insert. These inserts for the waterless milk warmer need to be labeled with a date and expiration time on uh, a baby label from the baby's chart, okay? You must do this. These are good for 24 hours once you start using them. Each baby has their own liner unless you have twins. Twins can share a liner. You want to turn on your warmer, take your insert, place it under the little tabs in the back, and then slide the front in a little lip, and that will set it in. And then you want to take the little tray and make sure that it's flat in the warmer. Okay? You'll take your frozen bottle of milk. This milk is frozen solid. 
okay? And we've found that if you program it for the actual volume of 118 milliliters, it will not thaw it well until you get just a small layer of ice crystals. So on the top of your warmer, there is a reminder sign. You need to program it for thawing 140 mLs. And we found that the best technique when doing this is to actually place it upside down in your warmer and that will um, better circulate it and get it to um, a point where it's fully thawed with just the small layer of ice crystals. Okay, so place it upside down in the warmer and then close it. You're gonna program it for thawing. So you just use your arrows, read the screen, super easy to use. Thawing, hit enter. You'll get a little snowflake that shows you that it's frozen. That's the starting temperature. And then you set it for 140 milliliters. Press enter. It will confirm the state of frozen, what you're wanting to do, which is thaw, the volume, and then it will give you a time for the thawing. And then you just hit start. When the thaw is complete, you'll get a little chime, and then it will, um, and it will go off like every so often to remind you that you've got your thawed milk in the warmer. So I recommend putting it in the warmer to thaw it out at the very beginning of all this process. During this time, you can be printing up your labels to prepare and divide and get everything ready uh, because the thaw process is gonna take 24 minutes. If you need to open it up to do anything with the container that's inside, if you don't touch any of the buttons, it will retain your settings you can close it again and then hit start and it will resume the thawing process. But if you hit stop and then open it, all of the settings will clear. So you wanna make sure that you just open it up, um, do whatever you need to do, close it, and then hit start again to resume it. So you have your milk warmer insert labeled with baby's sticker, date and time, of expiration for 24 hours. Just like we label our IV tubing, um, you need to make sure that you label your warmer um, insert. When you take it out of the, um, the warmer and you're getting ready to store it in the refrigerator, you need to take one of the bags that's on top of the refrigerator, should be right in this bin, Take one of these plastic bags with a label. That does not have to have a date and time of expiration because we're just storing the um, insert in there. You wanna take your insert, place it in the bag, and just kinda of wrap it up neatly so that it doesn't slip out of the bag while it's in the refrigerator. When your donor milk is in the warmer, thawing out. Um, at that point, you could be making sure that you have your labels ready, you've got your storage bin um, labeled, ready to go, and all of the stickers that you need. You should have many of the, the baby's labels um, to have in your bin. When you print up your labels for the prepared bottles of donor milk, um, you'll keep those in your bin. And then you can also print up a storage bin sticker. When you prepare in Bridge, it will give you the option of printing a storage bin sticker as well. That can go on the front of your storage bin. The benefit to doing that is it will give you a little QR scanner code so that when you are preparing future milk for this baby, if you need to thaw out more bottles, you will scan that storage bin label as the baby's bracelet. So it, you can scan that and it identifies the baby. So you don't have to have a big floppy baby bracelet in your bin 
that could potentially get lost or misplaced. So really the best practice would be to print the storage bin label, put it on the front, and that allows you to scan it to identify the baby, okay? All of your stickers, once they're printed, I recommend taking a little paper clip, keeping them together, and in the bin. And then when you're done with your warmer insert, it goes back into your baby's storage bag, in the bin, and then returned into the refrigerator. All kept together nice and tidy. When you're done with your warmer, you clean it with your green wipes.